So just at the start of the year guys, Puma was bringing a brand new range on the market which was called the Plexus and just a couple of weeks back they actually released two new collaborations for this Plexus range and in today's video we're gonna have a look at the first one of them. guys and welcome back for a brand new review if you are new to the channel guys uh, please uh, consider subscribing it will really help uh, the channel grow of course you can also give me a follow on instagram and tiktok to see exactly what i'm gonna review in the next few days in today's video guys as i've promised in my big uh, unboxing from end clothing we're gonna have a look at one of those uh, collaborations for the Puma Plexus. So let's go ahead and take them out of the box guys, which as you can see will come in this uh, black uh, box, which will have written uh, here on the lid uh, John J. And we're also gonna have this uh, white uh, stripe here, which will have written uh, Puma Select. We're also gonna have the John J and also the Puma logo. As you can see on all sides of this uh, box we're gonna have either the Puma or the John Jay or even both of them and of course on one side we're gonna have uh, this uh, sizing tag and one thing which I find it quite interesting it's that at the bottom of this box we're gonna have the actual uh, size conversions which most definitely will help a lot in uh, taking their right uh, shoe size so let's go ahead and uh, take these ones out guys so in today's video we're gonna have a look at this very interesting collaboration for the Puma Plexus which will be with uh, John Jay. So back in uh, January or February, if I'm not mistaken, Puma has dropped this uh, new range on the market, which was in that cream and green colorway, which uh, for sure was very interesting and at least comparing with the normal releases coming from Puma, for sure I felt that they are actually stepping up their game. Of course, uh, shortly after I saw that uh, we'll have a collaboration with John Jay. So we finally have it uh, here in the UK. And the actual retail price will be 130 pounds which will be around 150 us dollars so this one will have a very interesting mix of materials for this upper so starting here at the front of the tobo section we're gonna have this black suede which will also be covered by this rubber midsole which for sure will give it a good protection and this one as you can see will also have this puma logo so going towards the midfoot from this black suede this one will switch to this soft leather material in the same black color which will be present on the lateral and medial side then again from this uh, black uh, suede it will switch to this uh, black uh, tumble leather which again uh, going uh, towards the back it will switch again to this uh, soft leather material and just at the back of the heel section this one will have this uh, pattern leather in this black color which will have a press down uh, john j and just above it we're gonna have this uh, pull tab of course on both sides uh, we're still gonna have this uh, very well known uh, design coming from puma but as you can see on the lateral side we're also gonna have this uh, black carabiner which is actually a functional one and uh, hanging uh, from it we're gonna have this uh, john j and the puma rubberized material so i feel that this one it's actually looking quite nice as in for the actual lacing system guys uh, this one will be a very interesting one which will be made out of uh, some laces which will keep in place the actual laces which will be in this uh, round uh, shape of course these ones will come in this black color so underneath these laces guys uh, we're gonna have this uh, inner piece uh, construction which is actually quite stretchy and very see-through so for sure even though this one will be a full leather construction by having this uh, very breathable uh, tongue section this one will actually have a good breathability 
So at the top of this uh, so-called tongue section, we're also gonna have this uh, leather uh, patch, which will have the John Jay and also the Puma uh, logo uh, pressed down. So yet again, this one looks uh, nice as well. So going now uh, inside of the shoe, guys, uh, we're gonna have this uh, stretchy material, which will feel, I would say like a fly knit, but uh, this one will be slightly a bit more uh, thicker. So this one will act as a, an inner sock, to be honest. But rather than that, I would say that uh, besides this one, we're gonna have uh, some normal uh, lining, which will also have some uh, padding underneath. So for sure, this one, I feel that it's keeping my uh, foot quite good in place. And inside of this uh, inner uh, sock, we're also gonna have this uh, black foam insole, which here at the heel section will have some extra padding. And just on top of it, we're gonna have the Puma logo and the John Jay. So for sure, I feel that this one is actually giving a very good level of comfort. So now guys, uh, we can go to this, uh, I would say quite wide and exaggerated uh, midsole, which will be a foam one. So I would say that this uh, midsole, uh, it's actually a bit on the heavy side. And also on the same time, this one, it's gonna be a wide one, at least for the front part of the shoe. And according to the description for this uh, pair of shoes, this one will take inspiration from the very iconic Puma Monstro, which was uh, actually quite uh, successful back in the 2000s. And as you can see here at the front, we'll also come and cover partly this uh, Tobo section as well. Well, here at the heel section, uh, it will cover most of this uh, back part. So now guys, we can finish with this rubber outsole, which uh, will have the same pattern as the normal Puma Plexus. And as you can see here at the heel section, we're gonna have written uh, design by Puma. We're also gonna have the Puma logo. And in the midfoot, we're also gonna have uh, just a small bit of this uh, faux midsole exposed. As in for the actual uh, sizing guys, uh, for me as I have a skinny fit, for this one I just went with a half size down, so for me this one fits me just fine, but I would say that if you have normal fit guys, most definitely you should stick with your true to size, and just in case you have wide fit guys, I will most definitely suggest you to go with at least a half size up, just to make sure that this uh, heel section and also the front part of the shoe is not gonna be too snug for you. So overall guys, uh, this uh, brand new release coming from uh, Puma in collaboration with John J for this uh, Plexus range. In my opinion, it's uh, the best out of these uh, three releases, which we have for now for this uh, Plexus range. I really feel that the quality of the materials, it's actually quite nice. And for sure, as this one will come in this uh, all black colorway, it will have this uh, utilitarian vibe. And of course, by having this uh, carabiner here on the side, uh, this one will just reinforce that vibe. But I would say that uh, these materials guys uh, for this upper are actually quite uh, soft and uh, comparing this with the normal uh, plexus which uh, are coming at the same uh, retail price of 130 pounds for sure I would prefer this one instead of that all cream carway. So yeah guys uh, this was my unboxing and reviewing of this uh, brand new release coming from Puma in collaboration with the Korean designer John Jay for this uh, uh, plexus range. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to press the like button, maybe also subscribe to the channel. You can also give me a follow on Instagram and TikTok to see exactly what I'm going to review in the next few days. And as always, I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.